Howdy folks, welcome back to Vologda region. We are starting out on Wild River. I logged I logged into Village where we had left off yesterday with delivering the logs. I looked at the jobs, decided that since everything has to come from Wild River, back over to village that I would start on Wild River. So here we are, a couple of feet, just roll forward to get the five cement for finishing work. Then we'll go get the four brick. It's actually on the way back to the gateway and um, then we're, we'll get back over to Village and make that delivery. And since this is nine spots, my controller shut off. It's been sitting here waiting for me to, to be ready. Um, since I have, have to haul nine spots, I've got an eight spot trailer and a two spot basket here um, to avoid overloading the trailer I could do uh, you know two in the basket and only seven on the trailer maybe but you know whatever um, just have to get moving This Kenny was on this map. I just, uh, it had, it was set up the old way before the update, pre-update, where the Russian crane was on the rear. Um, I didn't want to keep using it that way in case it glitched out or something. So I sent it to the garage, refitted it, Crane on the front, um, then the basket, so we're good to go. Um, cement. We need five. I was kind of hoping since we weren't filling the trailer that it might start down here, but oh well. I've already got a route set up. made it. How about that? If we can straighten it out quick enough, we won't even have to stop rolling. There's two building rooms on this map. One has five brick, one has four brick. We need four brick for two different jobs. And so that's eight all together. We have nine available. We're good to go on that. It's just one of the brick rooms is way further north. The other is on the way to the gateway. But the job that we need the other four brick for are I'm going to take this wider they deliver on this map 
so it doesn't matter, I guess, if I pick them up further north. I'm delivering them on this map somewhere. So I'd rather use the ones on the gate on the way to the gateway for this job. Now that you fully understand my decision making, I'm sure you feel much better. I'm not sure I understand my decision making, but, you know, the world keeps going around. I'm going to try to, to make a big push. There's three jobs left, counting this one. And they're all well, this one I can get done in one trip. The next one I can get done in one trip. The last one is going to be multiple trips, but I don't have to cross the gateway. It starts on Wild River and it finishes on Wild River. So we'll be done with, well, I can't say we're done with the village at that point because we still have to pick up a large container uh, or an, rather an oversized container um, but that's right by the border and I could probably swing picking it up on the way back. Oh, there's my bricks. On the way back over to get the next job. Or when I'm coming over to start that last job, just pick it up out of order. It, um... It's locked until you do other portions of the job, but that doesn't mean I can't just swing through there and pick up a random oversized container. The only thing, there's three stages, four stages, oh, well, the last two might be considered one, so three stages on the job, and one of them is the oversized container. There are two separate big fuel trailers we have to move. Let's see, I mentioned the oversized container. The rest of it is just materials. Consumables, cement, brick, I think is what it is. But that'll be the that would be the last job on this entire region. But there's two ahead of it.
So if we haul ass and get everything right, we could maybe get both of the jobs ahead of that one um, done in this hour, get the next one done in the next hour. Maybe even start on that last one in this hour and just take a break without logging off so we don't lose our progress. We'll see. I'm just, I'm thinking 10 steps down the road, you know. Just gotta get this one done first. This apparently goes to the garage, which means Oh, always on, never mind. I was trying to put all wheel drive in. Which means I think I should probably go down this side and come across here. than trying to cut through all this mess and come across that rickety bridge. Yeah. My frames have been going in and out. I had it working really good. And now the frames are dropping in and out. I really don't need marks, except maybe here, here, and here. Otherwise, I just run down to the end. I'll put them here and here to make sure I cross that intersection in the right place. No. And then by the time I move the line over, it's almost all the way down. <laughs> all right. When I was just saying I don't need, really need marks, but... I know how to get to the garage for Pete's sake. You can go down the middle, or you can go down this west side of the river and cross over on the good bridge instead of trying to use the crappy bridge. There's a couple rough spots like this bridge. There's some swamp but well, we'll get there. We'll get there with all nine units of shit on one load. Look at the little bridge over there. You could stay closer to the shore and take that bypass. I've never done that. I've always just rolled right through. But see, there is a bypass over there. Sailing. Let's keep it up. Don't have to use the bypass for this. I, mean, I was going through the woods rather than using the bypass, but that's beside the point. 
Um, point is, I fixed the tower. Making good time down this road. Yeehaw! Carter. Big boulder. Rock. Car. Pole. And we got the pole, but I think I needed the room to swing around. We got the car, but I think I needed the room to swing around the pole. That's what I was trying to get out. And before we, well, I better not attempt to do this on the fly when I'm rolling up towards a bridge. There was only about a third of my suspension left. The only extra stop on this trip <clears throat> much easier way to get in and out of the garage. There's my bridge layer. You guys haven't seen the bridge layer because the one time I was going to use it I decided that the river was too wide for it. So the one time I wanted to use it I couldn't because the bridge isn't long enough. River too wide whatever aren't them nice looking trucks hmm. Tega two Tegas and uh, <clears throat> as of 5319 with the crane um, Tega SC and a Tega well uh, basically a Tega 6436 and a Tega 6437. The 37 is a little shorter wheelbase. But, and then there's the bridge layer. Pretty cool, but haven't had an opportunity to put it to use. I know it drives kind of slow, but other than that, it handles fine. Kind of funky the way you gotta do the fold up and fold out the bridge. Um, you have to move it on two axes at the same time. Just like the rollback for picking up cars. Same kind of deal. All gone! Empty! Trail. Yay, buddy. I blew right through the accept screen because I was just pushing the button like crazy. Um, water supply, I can get by with an M747 trailer. The cargo container oversized cargo container I can get by with an M747 so I think we'll switch to an M747 after I back out of here I'm gonna cheat <laughs> Uh, 
I'm gonna back out of here without a trailer. And there ain't a thing you can do about it, because you're not here. I love it. Oh! Uh-oh, pole! I couldn't turn sharp enough to make that corner, because I didn't plan ahead for it. Uh. I could have angled it through the gate so I'd have a better opportunity of possibly making the car. Um, let's see. No, I don't want to go across the rickety bridge. I was thinking the shortest way. To pick up an oversized container is straight up through the middle of town. But I don't want to go across that rickety bridge. And I don't think I want the container right this second. You know what I could do instead of driving back? Oh! Stand up, stand up, baby. Come on, stand up. Oh, fuck me. This gives more justification for what I was about to say. I could teleport back to the Wild River Garage and spend about three minutes customizing a brand new Kenny 10 by 10. Now would that save me time? I sure think it would. I can go through this customization very quickly and this thing is stuck on the dang branch. Oh, it's the winch. It's the winch line. <clears throat> On the other hand, I'm kind of interested to see what this would do in fifth gear, no load, all the way up this road. <laughs> and the garage is not exactly in a convenient location to the factory where I have to pick up all the metal pipe. So let's just roll it and go. Come on, baby. Get that clutch working. Get it up in fifth. Maybe get it up in high gear. I think that's 14. Oh, actually, fifth is 16. If you were counting gears, fifth would be like 16th gear high gear would drop it down to 14th gear. High gear is kind of a cruising gear. If you've got a load on, you want to maintain a certain speed without having the transmission keep shifting, you stick it in high gear you can cruise along at 14th gear. Oh, that was a bad hit. But... Fuck it. We missed the sign, so we don't have to worry about that being 
under the truck. You know what happens when that happens. Come on, baby. I I like to hear this thing throttling the Fishtail in the corner and miss the pole. <laughs> All right. Get across there whether I use the bridge or not. And hit the X. Here we go. <laughs> I would bet I wish you could be me. Uh-huh. Yep. <sighs> Mental problems and just about a cripple. I can still walk and do things for myself. But, you know, 58 years old and I've already had a four artery bypass. And um, I've had dementia for three years. Had high blood pressure for most of my life. I've had sleep apnea for 30 or 35 years. You know, yeah, I'm sure you want to be me. Living in a 22-foot travel trailer and only see my kids when I can afford to bring them up here. Yeah, but what a wonderful life. Let's see. We need to go to the island here. So I'm going to cross this. I didn't cross it coming out last time because I didn't want to risk dumping shit. We have nothing on the truck. So cross there. Take this little cut over in the corner, go across this, which is more hazardous than it looks, but go up in here, we get everything, all the pipe for this load are right there, and then we're back across the border. So let's... Turn on the headlights and haul some ass. Take it kind of easy on this. I don't, you know, flipping it back upright takes time too. I think with a loaded trailer, I would. Uh, go around. Look at how all the rocks react to that mod I'm using. Um, okay, I got the Trees Dawn mod. You guys know that, unless you're a new subscriber. So, we'll start from there. I got a mod called Trees Dawn that allows trucks to knock down the trees. Now the more mass you're hitting the tree with, the easier it is to knock it flat. Something like a scout vehicle. See what I mean about this being more treacherous than it looks? I already had a wheel off because look, there's a big freaking hole between the boards. I dumped it off. I dumped my load one other time because um, there weren't boards where I expected them to be. Um, anyways, so the more mass you're throwing at the tree, the easier it knocks down. This is a crossable 
river crossing even without the bridge okay um, then later I found okay this is a manual installation both of these are you have to go into the initial pack and manually install them by going into the file system I think while I don't have a trailer, I'm going to go up around this way and point my ass end out the gate, get my trailer, and pull up and load. Um, so they're both manual installation. You have to have um, some knowledge. They give you the trees done one gives you instructions. The other one for the rocks, um, I think they give you a link to a YouTube video. Um, but regardless, you have to you have to have some knowledge of working with file systems and crap um, because the I can probably put my trailer on right there but I'm gonna do this when I can see what I'm doing um, I know the instructions for the trees Dawn mod aren't exactly correct <laughs> um, they leave out at least one step there's a part where it says, um, you know, just drag and drop templates into templates. Well, there's extra steps in there. <laughs> um, for instance, the templates folder in the mod is not inside one file folder but it's inside two you open the first one and you have to have WinRAR you open the first one and all it does is give you another file file folder you open that one and you finally get to the templates folder that you have to put, put over there into the initial pack in the right spot um, so it's not just point and click. Let's see, I think we'll put, yeah, we'll put the medium pipe up front. It's bigger. Uh, let's see. One, two. Oh, shit, I forgot that there. Two spot a piece, two, four, six, eight, son of a beaver. Well, good thing they're unlimited. <laughs> uh, I can't, I couldn't even move them to the truck right now without using the crane. So, um, Escape. Yes, I did not account for them. Actually, you know, an hour ago, when I first sat down here and looked at this job, I counted them two, four, six, eight. Got to have an eight spot, you know? And then later, 
when I finish doing things that I need to do before I can actually start the recording. You know, I've been logged in to Steam for an hour before I actually record. Um, between then and now, it completely slipped my mind. God dang it. Okay, it is working. It is working, but it's closing. Because it kept closing functions every time, um, I thought something was wrong. Let me back up a little bit so the truck and trailer are straight. Oh, of course. The trailer has to go crooked, but that ain't gonna make a shit bit of difference as long as the truck is pointing through the gate and I understand we're blowing through a hell of a lot of time here um, that we shouldn't have to see before I started recording I can't do that one. I need a low saddle. And if I put a low saddle on this, it would sit really cockeyed. So we'll do the high saddle six. That is what I planned on using an hour before I actually started recording. I sat down here, looked at the jobs, looked at, thought about what kind of equipment I would need, and then got up and started doing other shit. There we go. You see that trailer sink in the ass? Holy shit. I think it never used to be like that. These, these modded trailers, you could damn near turn the thing upside down before it ever lost its load. Now, it's not, they're not quite that good anymore it's like they made them maybe SnowRunner got after them um, you know they were too unrealistic or something um, because they seem to spill easier um, evidence the two different loads of long locks that fell off the trailer. The second one, I just said, screw it, I'm leaving like that, and I'm going to go ahead and deliver it. First time I lost the logs, I thought I would, um, you know, I'd go across here if I didn't even have to loop around like that. Because this, with a trailer, I mean, I can do it. It's just this corner. You're not, I'm not going to have enough room to swing the cab. Which means the trailer isn't going to be on the bridge. But... Oh, fuck. You know, 
I could just go across this river and then shoot straight across the woods and then go up here. But unless you've got the trees done mod, you can't shoot straight across the woods. So I will do it the way no mod would do it. Just for you guys. New trailer discovered. It just now did that. What would this do for me if I went left? It would take me inland. Okay, never mind. Of course, by the time I went inland, then I could take this route be a little longer but it would avoid this corner and it would avoid this rickety shit but uh, I'm tired of I'm tired of playing snow runner um I really like to just concentrate on something like Osiris New Dawn or um, Subnautica you know for the three or four people that watch Subnautica but I've got the left side wheels trying to tip me over. Oh, shut up. This is... See? This is what I get for trying to... do things like this. Instead of um, following the little guy on my shoulder that says, don't do that. You're going to get screwed. Handbrake. Releasimo Wincho. But I'm going to prove that I can do it the effed up way and still get her done. I'm thinking not even use that little cutover. Go up the bank and then around and then cut it back. Oh, handbrake on. Alright, now bring it around. Cut it back. Unfortunately, I'm not really getting the jackknife right. So I'm going to have to do is back it down in there a little bit and then bring it up here I know I'm breaking down trees but
but I'm... Sick of running out of time. And there we go. So you get the principle of what I was doing. Getting it lined up for the bridge better. Now you could do the same thing without knocking down a crap ton of trees and going through the woods. It would just take longer. Because you'd have to back into the road that you came up and do a better job than I was at getting the thing worked around. But I'm looking at the clock and thinking, screw this, I gotta go. Damn near dumped the shit once already. Dang near dumped it a couple of times trying to make that jackknife. I'm gonna get a drink. got um, H-E-B, which is a local grocery store in Texas. Um, Texas style diet sweet tea. <sighs> Wish you could skip the music too. Um, they use back to the T for a second. They use Splenda to make it sweet. I have to stop here and figure out where this goes. One to the central plant, one to the outskirts factory. Oh, that's right. I looked at these already. And I haven't started the job, so um, kind of hard to see where the, well, the job is going, but it wasn't open in the list and it's not showing me. here we go central plant outskirts factory so not exactly convenient but you know it would be easier to make my way into this place from this bridge which I just rebuilt a couple episodes back when I cleared the the pole out of the road um, I was thinking to myself why didn't the game let me rebuild this bridge you know months ago six months ago um, but anyways it'd be easier to get in there from this side than winding my way through this bullshit and then having to still 
go across all this. So I'm going to go over here first. Why not? And it's... I know one of the small pipe are sitting on the ass end of the trailer. And even if I unpack and pack, it'll probably stay on the ass. But, you know what? I don't even have to say it. Because you know what I'm thinking. So I need to make this hairpin corner. And then on the return trip, I will grab... Oh, that... That button is so easy to push down when I'm trying to... It's so easy to push it or depress it straight down when I'm trying to pull it toward me to put the brakes on and throw it in reverse. And do I ever think about trying to put it on a different button? Hell no. Well, only when I'm playing. But you know, as long as we're on the subject, this game with Xbox controllers, there's four pre-planned um, I don't know, ways of setting it up. I'm sure there's a better word for it. I'm sure one of you could come up, probably all of you could come up with a better word for it, but when you go into controller settings, you can pick A, B, C, or D, and you cannot change which buttons do what. In that interface you cannot. Now you might be able to go into the file system and manually change which buttons do what. I don't like any of the four. So, you know, I just picked the lesser of four evils. And I've gotten used to doing it that way. My throttle is up on the left stick. My throttle is forward, my brake and reverse are back. One of the other options you can do is having your throttle and your brake on the triggers. But doing it that way, you have no control over the level of your throttle. Like I'm just poking along here barely touching it um, with the trigger it's 0 or 100 nothing or full throttle with the stick I can control it and then of course left and right on the stick are steering left and right so the stick is all my the stick is entirely my truck movement and
and then my far way below that is opening functions when it works or I can push it the other way and it opens that my statistics take a good look 99 million dollars no wait nine hundred and ninety eight million dollars um anyways let's get out of here we're wasting time I was talking about not wasting time and here I am gabbing 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 um let's get rid of two pipes Wonderful. And since that was just a stage, we didn't get a get the done thing. Let me see. Let's push this button and unpack and pack. And of course, it left it right on the ass. I'd have to disconnect from the trailer after unpacking it, hook onto it, move it to the front, rehook to the trailer, and then pack it. Ah, screw that. I know it's coming up on an hour, um, and I've wasted probably. 15 minutes just dicking around well and getting the truck back on the bridge without losing everything but we are going to make some more progress very soon and I'm just nuts gabbing about this and that but oh I never finished the trees drawn trees dawn versus the rocks okay trees dawn manual installation more mass you hit it with the easier it goes to it down um so scout vehicles, light trucks, doesn't work as good. This Kenny has something, I don't remember for sure, has something in the neighborhood of 26,000 mass. I don't know, don't know if that's like kilograms or just a random number. Um, that the game understands. Like, you know, steering responsiveness, point Three A. Well, what does that actually mean? I went out the wrong gate. Isn't that just dandy fine? And you know what? I'm gonna take this, push the wrong button, and I'm gonna put it up there. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna point this baby right at it cuz I am out of time to screw around we're gonna do this shit my way and off we go
Yes, I routinely screw up, and that's how I fix it. So, the rock mod, the boulders, the little, the little rocks and boulders that, uh, that's my mother, I'll call her back. Um, you get like a boulder field on the road. Some of them are solid. Some of them roll around. I was kind of sliding into home plate there. Um, some of you can roll around. When you run over them, rocks that can roll around, it gives you damage. Hitting the rock, hitting the solid rocks give you more damage, but we're talking about the small rocks, small to medium sized boulders that roll around. This mod makes it so those roly-poly boulders... Though I can't go through that in fifth gear. <laughs> These roly-poly boulders don't do any damage. And it is also a manual installation. So what I did, there's a templates folder in the Trees Dawn mod. There's a templates folder in the Boulders mod. So I combined both template folders into one. So when I when they update the game and I need to reinstall the mods for when I need to redo the manual installation for those mods I only have to load one templates folder to get both mods both manual installations working and there were, you know, the entire templates folder is in there for environment, for trucks, for trees, everything is in there. For the default settings of Things like traction on wheels is in there. And I don't want... Okay, there's SnowRunner's idea of what traction should be. And then there's something more realistic. Um, so, I have to alter those things. So when I dump that mod, modded templates folder in there, it keeps everything right. Um, what's not enough space? This apparently 
is not where not on the arrow the arrows over there I just pulled in to the loading zone because I was sitting there gobby gabbing about uh, template folders and how to do manual installations instead of looking for the arrow. Now I gotta try and work my way around this corner with an eight spot and a long ass truck. But I'll get it if I gotta drag the trailer over that con damn concrete. I didn't say god damn. I said damn concrete. Ah uh, yeah, that trailer's not gonna go around. No matter how much I try backing it up. But it will scoot over. You just skid the tires. Now it says cargo management again, but this one had the arrow on it. Kaboomza! Water supply is done. Finishing work is done. Kolsky administration is done. Vorino 12 is done. Tega oil is done. There is, let's see, tasks only have the optional time contest. So tasks is done. The only thing left is drilling rig construction. We will activate that. And uh, we'll see you back on, I was going to say on Wild River, but I do got to pick up. I can get all these materials that they're saying I can get here. I can get on Wild River without dicking around over here and then crossing the border. It's like this warehouse. It doesn't have enough consumables. So why bother? I could take two from here, one off that trailer, I would have to take a scout vehicle, hook up to the trailer, unpack the load, and then put it on my truck with a crane. Why would I screw around with that when there's a warehouse on Wild River with something in the neighborhood of 55 to 60 consumables in it. <laughs> um, I can get all the cement over there. I can get the service bear parts over there. Um, the drill rig, the bricks, the slabs. The only thing I need here is the oversized cargo. It hasn't shown me where those are because they're locked. But when I click on them, when I'm on Wild River and I click on them, it takes me to a certain corner of the map. It does not take me to the gateway to village. So that leads me to think they are on Wild River. Um, now that we've got all that out of the way, I will say... Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.